Hi, welcome again to 5 Minute Revit. Today I'm exciting about placing adaptive component. Adaptive component last uh, episode, we uh, we had seen that uh, how to create a point and from this point uh, convert them to adaptive. Today we continue out with the, with the same exercise, but we will uh, see more exciting tools. I go here in my here my adaptive component. I will just uh, select here my geometry tabulation and I will hide this geometry hide element here. Now I will create a surface here as my uh, glass panel. I select here and I go to the ribbon and I click on create a form and now I create a solid, but it's not solid. I will choose here instead of solid, a surface. I just reset temporary hide. Now you see I have the panel. It's, uh, it's like transparent, but we will assign material parameter for both the panel and the, the frame. I can, for example, for the frame, I can click on tab and I select the geometry and here in the parameter I have material parameter but you see this small button here I will click on it I will add a new parameter and I name it frame material frame material and I will let it a type parameter. You can add it instance parameter, uh, depend on how you want to design your panels. I put OK. OK. Now it's already a parameter. If I go here to family type, I will see frame material. Now I can click on tab and I hide here from the view control bar here the small glasses, hide element. I select here this glass, for example, tab, tab, and I select the glass, and I will add the material here. I will name it here a glass material. In glass material, I will keep it a type parameter. Sure, it will be grouped under material and finish it and I will click OK. Now I came here, I reset temporary hide isolate. Now I had, I have both this, uh, I have material assigned to this frame and material assigned to the panel. Now I will create a new, uh, here I will create a new family, conceptual mass. You can create a conceptual mass or you can create uh, another adaptive component and load this family in uh, other family and start to place your adaptive. I will create a conceptual mass here. Open. Here in conceptual mass, I will create a form like a roof, for example, with uh, like organic shape if you like, uh, depend on the design. The idea here to understand how to assign material to adaptive component and how to place the adaptive component. I will back here in the ribbon and I will select uh, here the reference plan. I can use also the reference line. We will see that in another video how to use the reference, uh, reference line. I will click on reference plan here and I will here create a reference. Maybe I will put control Z. I go control Z. I will go here in the floor plan here. I will create it from here. It's better. And I create another one here. You will see the idea to have here. And I go in a 3D. Now I have this, this reference plan here. Okay, I can see this reference, like set, select it, and in that I will create a nice curve like that. And escape. 
and I will set another like here for this central reference plan. Click and I will create another curve like that. Now I will select the other one here. I come back to here to ribbon work plan set and I set this one and I create another like something to have on it to place the adaptive component. Now what I, what I will do, I will select this one and click on control on your keyboard and select the second one and the third one. Now I select both. I select, uh, sorry, I select the three of them and I will come here and select a solid form. Now you see, now I have this surface created. Now I will click on tab, select all the surface. I will divide the surface. Okay. I came here in the ribbon and divide the surface. Now I have my surface divided. I can select my surface and I can here add a node to the surface here. You see now if I back to my here to my adaptive component, I can load it here in the, into project. I can load it, but for, for just uh, to, f to close this one and bring here this one here and I will just like adjust the yeah and I load into project now when I load it into project I will select here my node and place my adaptive component here now after I place it I will escape a couple of times and I just come here to view and in the view, I will just bring it like that. Okay. Now what I I'm doing, I will test my material that I just created. If I select here, my adaptive component, I see here in edit type, I have frame material and glass material. Okay. If I go to the frame material, I select here, I go here to the material editor and here underneath I have the library I can go to IEC material like architecture engineering construction material this is the Autodesk material I can choose here aluminum for example aluminum okay and I click here to upload here and I can use here the appearance you see this color I will use it for the graphic use rendering appearance for the shading in graphic mode and I click apply apply okay and now I was oh, well now I will ask assign for the glass I can go here and I can select here like a glass for example okay and I can choose something, something like that, for example. Okay. And use always the render appearance because we will not do render, but we will give impression that is like render. Now you see the material that we created. And now I just uh, make it repetitive for all the surface. How I do that? I select here the adaptive. I came here to modify panel and I will click on repeat and hola will see here all the panel assigned to our surface like that i hope this video help you understand how the adaptive component function and how we can place adaptive components